Dungeons and Dragons. And Junk Drawer. What's up, guys? Hello. We are back. So, uh, quick, 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 quick uh, recap from last session. Uh, we all really just attuned to items. We, we picked our path. We went to Casimir, who was still around. He was in the vicinity. And, um... And yeah, we, we are on our way to Argen von Holst. Did I say that right? Is that? Yeah, you, yeah, you got it. Okay, Close so enough. we're at that place. We're going there uh, before we head to the Amber Temple, where we uh, will hopefully not die. That's going to be a fun conversation. The uh, death conversation? Kind of. Oh, okay, cool. Talk about it. Not dead. <clears throat> Yet. <laughs> okay, early. so let's... Let's get into the mindset. Um, so, coming off the edge of the destruction of Valakai, uh, we find the party with Casimir. Hold on, Justin, real quick. Yep. Rotate your mic. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, sorry. Uh, fresh off of the destruction of Valakai, we find the party uh, lining themselves with the Dusk Elf uh, Casimir. Uh, heading to the Amber Temple, you guys decided to go through the mountains, and on the way, there is a uh, Argonvost Holt. Um, so, it's about two weeks' travel to get to. Argenvost Holt. Is there anything in particular that you guys are doing? Uh, we'll start off with Rufio. Uh, I'm trying to spell Holt phonetically so that I remember how to spell H -O -L -T. it. H-O-L-T. Got it. Uh, anything I'm doing in particular? Yeah. Uh, going to be uh, consistently praying to Raven Queen Whore, okay. looking for any kind of... Uh, you said that there's often like dishes... To like leave. When you go to different temples into different towns for yeah. the Raven Queen, there is uh, when you left uh, Valakai. Yeah. Outside of uh, Father Lucian's church, that you hadn't noticed before, is a Raven with her arms uh, stretched wide open and an offering plate. So that's where you would where put. people usually put something in for the Raven Queen for offering. Got it. So I'll be uh, on the lookout for things like that, mm -hmm. praying to whore, uh, making sure that I still have kind of those abilities. That's good. Um, and and kind of keeping an eye on dirt as well. I want to see if mm -hmm. he's starting to exude anything weird or anything we, we can, if I see that hand. Yeah. Um, I would say in the two week time span, you, you still, you'll occasionally see that aura while you're praying, kind of like when your eyes are closed and it's sunny out, like you can see the reds of your eyelids, but when you open them up, it's gone. Um, dirt kind of gives you more descriptions of kind of dreams he's having. And it mostly deals with this man in this armor talking to him. And like like you experienced before where you smelt the presence of evil, you made a mental note to notice that dirt did as well. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, uh, anything you're doing with Absidy or Casimir or Shard? Uh, I mean, I definitely want to... Uh, I, I guess I'd have to... Uh, at some point, I'd like to have a one-on-one -on -one with Absidy and, and kind of discuss some things with him. Okay, so we'll get to that when we uh, we get to Absidy. Uh, Sharp, what are we doing for the uh, for the two weeks? <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna look for any signs that I could see mm -hmm. uh, in regards to Vin. See if I can see anything of maybe where he's been. Okay. Give me clues to know where he's located. Um, <clears throat> That's one of the things. There's other things too. Of course. Uh, you can roll a survival check. Not great. Not great. Uh, six. So, I mean, besides seeing outside of the church uh, of Valakai, you don't really see any other, like, large uh, wolf tracks. You've okay. run into, in your travels, I'll just assume you've run into more of Strahd's wolves, but most of them seem more passive, and they're more watching, as opposed to when you first encountered them, they were more aggressive. Okay. Other than that, you haven't really been able to track any of those large footprints. Uh, with Shark? Yes. Am I getting anything weird off of uh, his axe? Any kind of... When I, mean, I pray, anything just... No? All right. <clears throat> the other thing that I'm doing is I know we're going to be traveling for a while. We do have the empty vials. Um, mm -hmm. So I want to see if I can craft additional healing potions from things I find along the way. Okay. Uh, roll a medicine check. Yeah, I think we had like eight. Uh, ten. Ten? They might be. 
Okay. Um, after a while, you are able to, for the two-week time span, it takes you about a week each, you're able to make a very crude potion of healing. Okay. So you have about one. Well, you said two weeks, so... Oh, I'm sorry, per week. So you have two. So we have two more two more potions for you. Told. So add those into your inventory. Where the fuck did I just put that? Uh, anything else we're doing? Um, um, I think I'm good. Okay. That was my main, my main goals, unless anyone wants to talk to me about anything, because I'm just thinking about my brother. And that really cool axe that you have. Yeah, I'm super into it. Um, of healing. Oh, there it is. Okay. And then, Absidy, what are we doing? Um, most of the time, I am studying that book mm -hmm. that I found. Okay. And uh, I also just want to talk to Shark. Huh? No, I'm perfect. Oh. <laughs> um, just quick one-on-one -on -one with Shark to ask him to make uh, poison. Okay. So I can start coding my weapons to become more powerful. Okay. So you guys have that discussion, unless you'd like to role play it out. Um, no. During it's the super two quick. <laughs> doing the during the two week journey, um, you're studying this this book, and like I said, it's all in abyssal. And you you kind of pour hours and hours. Uh, you two can roll insight to see if you take notice of it, or if you're doing it in secret, you can roll a stealth to kind of kind of hide it away from them. Okay. Um, <clears throat> while you roll that, uh, you see different symbols of different. Uh, basically, it looks like nasty things. Uh, what'd you guys get? Natural 20. Okay. What am I looking for? Uh, insight. Insight? Yes. Uh, modded 20. I was right. kinked, so... 29. Okay. <laughs> so, Rufio doesn't really notice, but Shart, you've noticed that uh, during watches, when Absidy wakes you up, or you wake up Absidy, he immediately just opens this book he got out of Father Lucian's um, library. Okay. Uh, and it doesn't look like the friendliest book. Uh, but as you... As you're reading this, uh, after about a week or so, you start getting different kind of visions of, I don't know how to describe them other than dark and fog. And as you're reading, maybe it's the woods or maybe it's something else that you just kind of hear these distant whispers. And there's this one symbol that kind of catches your eye and you've scribbled it down. And as you, you keep looking, and it's just everything is in this embizzle, but every... That way. This way. Every every so often you hear like a... And then it just, as soon as you realize it's there, it's gone. You can keep that. That's yours. I want to write it down. Anyway. Okay. It's getting into character. Okay. <laughs> uh, what else are you doing during the week? Uh, just to jump in sure. while he's dribble, uh, scribbling. Um, for me to make poison, what would you like me to roll for that to see how much poison I can create? Uh, survival. Survival? Uh, 15. 15? Okay. Because I, I had them all. Okay, so you make about three vials of poison. Uh, I think we had five empty vials, correct? I thought we filled them with holy water. That's the only thing. Yeah, you would have to start I, Yeah, we start dumping out holy water. Yeah, I've got 10 holy water. So, yeah, they were all filled. They were all filled. So, so we can empty. I got to empty five. two. Two for. And uh, he's doing. Uh, and three potion. Or three poison. Didn't poison. we. Uh, I, I know we took some from uh, Peggy. We didn't take any from Peggy. Well, we didn't take any from Peggy. Okay, I was confused. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. So I have. There's three vials of poison? Yeah. Yes. Poison. Would that be... Oh, there we go. Okay. Got it. Yep. How are we doing? Are you ready? Wait. Wait. Okay. Uh, are you going to mention anything about the book? No. Okay. I got my dark shit, too. We all do. Yeah. I just see him. I see you. Am I aware that he sees me? Um, you can roll a stealth. Uh, to see if he notices you. Oh, You're I kind would. of a, I would say you can do like perception at disadvantage. Or you know what? We'll do passive perception. So okay. pull up your passive perception. If Mike can beat it, then you don't notice. Where Where's my passive That's perception? Passive perception oh, okay. 11. Because 11. you're kind of enamored with this. Mm -hmm. 
18. Okay. I, I don't know what my modifier is, so. So you're natural 18, so you don't really notice, but yeah, Shark, you make mental note of just, he's reading something nasty. Cool. <laughs> Dope. Well, so, uh, you wanted a conversation with Absidy? Yeah. Please roleplay that out. Cool. Uh, so, what's, uh, you, you, since Valakai burned to the ground, you've been a little quieter. What's going on? Valakai burned to the ground. Yeah, no, I, I was there for that. Yeah, my point is I've got a lot on my mind. Do you? I had to face Strahd by myself and it was, it was pathetic to say the least. And I'm ruminating. Um. I'm worried about you. I don't want you to do anything rash or stupid. You're the one who does rash things. I'll be fine. Mm, you've done some awfully rash things recently as well. So. I'll keep an eye out for it. All right. Thank All right. you. <clears throat> I'll have Dirt keep an eye on him too. Okay. Um, Real quick, I just want to make sure that Rufio caught the thank you at the end. Yeah, like a I begrudging. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, during the week, Dirt kind of just you know checks up on you and does your you do your Dirt Ab City thing. I'm guessing half heartedly. Um, and Dirt's Dirt. He's not gonna pry. He's not gonna try to press on anything. But he's there mm-hmm. for you because you guys are bros. No. It's... Um. During this, uh, Casimir is fairly quiet. He's kind of just pondering to himself, and he's writing, uh, most likely mentally preparing for the Amber Temple. Um, and so, slowly, uh, as you go through the, the mountain slope, uh, it slowly starts going into um, connecting with the uh, Svalich Road. So, mountain eventually starts becoming uh, forest. And there is a... Uh, basically a winding branch of this swal- uh, old Swalich, Swalich road um, and it basically where the mountain and the forest meets um, <clears throat> high above the river valley because there is the Luna River Valley uh, just a quietly promontory uh, house upon which looms a s- sept- <laughs> basically a mansion <laughs> its turrets capped with fairy tale cones its towers lined with sculpted battle uh, fragments a third of the structure looks like it's collapsed uh, and has part of the roof, but the rest appears intact. Uh, a dark octagonal tower rises above the surrounding architecture, and then out of the fog comes a distant peal of thunder, quickly accompanied by the howling wolves in the woods below. But the house stands silent, seeming like the uh, fossilized remains of some long dead thing smote upon the mountainside. You just see this mansion. Neat. That place looks interesting. That looks terrifying. Is this a, is this the place you think, Casimir? Where are we? Uh, and you see him, and he kind of pulls out the map, and he goes, "This looks like Argenvost Holt. It's Argenvost Holt is one building. It looks like a giant mansion." Well, so this is where we need to go. This, yeah, let's uh, go there. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you get closer to the, uh, you start going down the pavement. And you see this statue. I'm gonna take my scythe out and start playing with it, okay. and like just keep it. I need you guys to take things off of the board. And right over it. Okay. Uh, so as you start coming up. Perched atop a 10 foot wide, 10 foot high cube of granite is a moss covered statue of a dragon. Its wings tucked closely to its body, and the statue looks east towards the mansion. Sorry, I'm getting your shit. Very good. Ooh. Damn, ah, son. Colors. I like it. I hope this, this kind of shows up on camera. It does. A little bit. And so, let me just give you, like, a page marker. So this is where the uh, dragon is. This is the front. And then that's the front door. 
Okay. So right here. Now, uh, just to give you guys an indication, each square is about 10 feet. And this is more like place markers. For any battles, I have stuff prepared for that. Got it. Okay. Sick. So this is just kind of like a map so you can kind of figure out what I have here. This dragon was moss covered? Yes. Like it wasn't mo- made of moss. No. It was covered in it's moss. It's covered in it's granite and it's covered in moss. Okay. This is the abjurer. Fallen house stone dragon. Look to the highest peak to better understand enemy. So where is it? Where's the highest peak in You're this? on a mountain. Shit. Okay. This is where we need to be. The uh, this is the abjurer. The, so it either means the highest peak of the house or the highest peak of the area. I guess we gotta get through a fucking house. This is great. Yeah, that's what we have to do. This is where we're going. And Casimir kind of looks at it and he goes, uh, "I don't know if I can go in there with you." Why? Why? <laughs> I'm just. I'm not. I'm not getting good feelings off of this, and I. I am no fighter. Great. Weren't weren't you coming with us to try and kill Strahd? I'm coming with you to the Amber Temple because that's where we're meeting. That's where we needed to get things to destroy Strahd. No, my question was essentially, weren't haven't you tried to kill Strahd in the past? You're not a fighter anymore. Yeah, and he points at the the ravenous scar he has on his face. That's what happened last time. And if you don't mind, I think I'd like to keep my distance. I'll stay with the horses. Sit this one out, Casimir. Thank you. You're just going to slow us down. My point's exactly. So he kind of ties up the horses and he puts them to a tree and you see him kind of like set up a little camp, a little fire. I'll be out here waiting. Neat. Uh, And the time right about now is about 7 p.m. You've been traveling all day as you got to this mountain crest because you fucking had to travel through mountains. Yeah. But yes. So where the stone dragon's looking... Yeah. Is there anything past the house? Like a higher point? Uh, you see to the east that there is a, um, what I described a little bit earlier, which is the dark octagonal octagon tower. Yeah. Which but, is that thing back there. Is it taller oh, but, but is it taller than the house? It's about the same size. Okay. Okay, so, but there's nothing past the house, like over by the sign. It, nope. it says the fallen house of the stone dragon. So it, this is the house. This is where we need to be. It's either going to be in this area or it's going to be in the house. I was making sure that when it says the highest, peak. highest peak, it doesn't mean like a mountain or something. Yeah, far no, away. I, I think this is where we need to be. Look uh, to the highest peak. However, as you look at it, it's the fog because there is fog still here. Kind of covers the features of the the dragon itself. Just wanted to put that out there. Can we cut off the moss? Sure. Um, you can go ahead and roll a, uh, a strength check for me. Shart, help me cut yep. off the moss. Uh, 15? 14. Yeah, you're able to, to clean it up, and it's, yeah, it's just this tucked... Everyone roll nature checks. See if you know what kind of dragon it is. Two. Seven. Fifteen. You, Rufio, you look at the um, the dragon, and it's it doesn't look chromatic, so mm-hmm. it doesn't look like a black, red, green, blue dragon. You just don't know which kind of dragon it is. You it's think not, it might be metallic. It's not a Saloon. It's not a Saloon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Saloon's special. I made she her. special. She's two dragons. Um, okay. What are we doing? Going inside. Okay. Uh, so flagstones stepped, flanked by stone railings, uh, climb to a landing in front of the a tall wooden door with rusted iron bands and knockers shaped like small dragons. Uh, carved into the lintel above the entrance is Argon Vost Holt. Do we, do we knock and let whatever's inside know that we're here, or do we sneak? Are in? you at the stairs or on the landing? Uh, stairs. Okay. Should, should we check? Or traps. I can do that. Side side note: How many sure. uh, arrows does one vial of poison tip? I think it's uh, one. It's just one. I think so. Okay. Because the poison immediately gets used up. Like even if you dip it and then you don't shoot it, it's got to be within that moment. Oh, okay. So it's not something then... you do early. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll check for traps. Uh, eight plus. Remind me what it is again. Uh, for traps, it's your proficiency. 
Uh, three, so 11. Plus investigation, I think, because you're checking for traps. Or is it just your investigation? I think it's also proficiency because he's a rogue. Yeah, so add investigation to it. So your investigation plus your is proficiency. Is zero, so your investigation 11. is 11? zero? Yeah, I have performance, oh, yeah. persuasion, sleight of hand, stealth, deception. You don't see anything. I don't see anything. What what order should we go in? I would I vote to go in the back. I agree with that statement. <laughs> I really don't care. I'll go first. All right, buddy. Okay. Cool. Rufio, as you climb up the stairs and everyone's kind of watching you, your foot kind of clicks into and you hear an audible click into the uh, stone as right. your foot kind of goes down and you hear from the dragon you hear as it opens its mouth and you're just misted with a very cold breeze not like super cold okay just cold uh <clears throat> can i shit. and then you see its mouth go can i uh shit 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 is he the only one who gets buck, hit with buck, it buck, 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 buck. yes is it, that... only, it only hits the where the stairs are okay so that's a a, a dragon from here, not this one? No, it's that one. So it just goes... Okay. Uh, can I use a divine sense to see anything celestial, fiend, or undead within 60 feet, not behind total cover? Sure. So just any... You can detect good and evil until the end of your next turn, sensing anything affected by a hollow... By the hollow spell or no location of any... So if it's a spell... Anything magical, anything celestial, fiend mm-hmm. or undead within 60 feet, I get a buzz from it. Okay. Do you I? You get a buzz of undead. On me? Not on you. On me, it's just in the... In, like, the, in the 60 feet? Okie dokie. Thanks. No problem. So, uh, where are we going? Do... What was that? I don't know. Do I feel any different? Other no. than, like, a slight chill? No, nope, you just feel a little, like, chilly. Like, ooh. Was it refreshing? It was nice. It was... I mean, I didn't hate it. Have I don't know what it did. Have you ever been to a York peppermint powder? It's kind of like that. <laughs> but all over my body. Yeah. I didn't I didn't hate it. I don't know what it did, <laughs> but... Okay. And, uh, yeah, you try for the door, and it is unlocked. Push it open. Okay, let's... Like, on. slowly, though. I'm not going to be, like, kicking Beep. it in. Okay. Let's start moving some things. <laughs> uh, by the way, there was definitely a trap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that I don't have great trap sensing abilities. Well, what? Yeah, sleight of hand and stealth. I got it. What are your guys? It's investigation. Yeah, but we don't get a bonus on it. Oh, okay. My investigation is also zero. I get bonuses on intimidation, perception, and uh, survival. But well, what is your what's your investigation modifier? Oh, my investigation modifier? Yeah. Uh, minus <coughs> one. <laughs> so, so I think I'm still the best. Would you yeah. like to put like a marker down, kind of figure out where you guys are? Yeah. Like I said, each square is uh, ten feet. Ten feet. So yep. I'll just put right there for the moment. Okay. Uh, I'll throw another uh, divine sense up too and see if I get a direction where anything is. It won't give you a direction, but it'll no. give you that okay. if there's anything I'll still there. I'll still throw another divine sense up you're getting undead yeah heavy is it like it's not gonna tell you it no. doesn't tell you how many shit how many or where it just tells you if it there's just tells anything you in the area dirt you uh you, you getting that getting what never mind what are you talking about I, I fucking know okay uh as you go in this room feels like a king's tomb a grand staircase leads up a st- uh, up to stone balconies held aloft by stone pillars and arches. So that's what these are. Um, a tall, faded tapestry depicting a nobleman in silver armor hangs from an iron rod above the staircase landing. Six sets of double doors lead up from this foyer. Along the walls displayed on the marble pedestals are three alabaster busts of handsome men. A fourth bust and its pe- pedestal has been knocked over and their shattered remains uh, lie, lie strewn across the mosaic floor. Two chandeliers of wrought iron hang from the ceilings like monstrous black spiders. So how many? The fourth one you said was destroyed. There were six total? Uh, there were... There was four busts. Four. There was uh, six, six double doors. Double doors. Yeah. Okay, so the so fourth one... 
was it does it look like a purposeful break or was it just something that um can't really tell he can't see if it's been with purpose or malice it just looks like it shattered are they all the same age they're all differing ages like progressively no no okay different faces do we recognize any of the faces no okay mm. is there is there any names on the bust uh there are not Okay. So, well, time to break the rest of them. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> are you doing that? No. Okay. Where are you Basically. guys going? Uh. So you have doors here, here, and the stairs go up. These stairs go up, and then you have one, two, two doors back here. Let's go up. We need to find the highest point. Go, go up first. I mean, aren't you the the guy that wants to check the keyhole for everything? Where's that whimsy? <sighs> Let's just go up. Uh, just so everyone knows, I, uh, I'm getting a weird undead sensation. Uh, so be on, be on guard. Like, like zombie undead or like... I can't tell. I don't know. But something undead is here. And... Uh, I mean, I'll hack up a fucking zombie. I really don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for something. As you guys are talking... A great shadow with wings feels like it moves across the room. And then distant, you hear a hiss in the darkness. Uh, That's probably what I'm getting a feeling of (laughs) somewhere. Great. Is it up? Is it? Do we get like a sense of where? Shit. Hey, hissy. I don't think its name is hissy. I mean, it. uh, then who are you? Uh, Nothing. You hear very distant. <coughs> and it sounds like it's coming from around there. Uh, I'll take... Uh, I'll take, like, two steps in. Okay. So it's about 20 feet? Yeah. Uh, can I throw... It's behind those doors. So it, I'm hearing stuff here. Nope. No. no, up here. Yep. Can I just throw an Eldritch blast up and and try and like just to see if there's anything on the back wall? Like it'll light, right? It's it's basically fire. It's kind of like fire. It's like I have a candle. You've you've seen Duke's unicorn blast before. That's yeah. Blast. So <laughs> yeah. Think of like Cyclops' optic blast. Yeah. It's gonna be. But a it'll house of force. it'll like light it like briefly. I'll be able to see if there's anything or anyone up there. It's not. It... It's not up. It's behind. Okay. I just want to throw an Eldritch blast at. A vicinity sure. in a direction. Where are you throwing it at? Uh, just towards wherever I heard that cough, or wherever I like the wings or anything. If I got it, hits sense. the back wall, and you just kind of see it light up the staircase, but you don't really see anything. What are you shooting at? I'm just trying to see. You didn't hear that cough? No, I, I did, but I have a candle. I got a tinder box. What's I can a, make a fire. What's a candle? Like it's just it's so little. Like what are we gonna? I don't know, man. <laughs> Let's just go. All right, we're All right. Go. Yeah, we'll go up the stairs. Okay. Um, so that is... Ah. So move your characters. Thank you for moving me, fellas. No problem. And while, while this is going on, I am looking for stuff to steal, but it's... It's half-heartedly, and I'm probably only going to take certain types of items, but I am looking. Okay. So I don't know if that's like a passive passive uh, perception or anything. Oh, move them off. Oh, oh move them off. I thought you meant move them, like, further. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, he did say it's a mansion. So. Second floor. So. Wow. Let's see where we're at. We are at... Where are you going to decide to go? Because you have hallways here and here. All right, Absidy, you wanted to come upstairs, left or right? Let's go left. We're going to go left. Okay, so your left is towards you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, here, let's, let's just use one. For now? Yeah, just... Yeah. We can all fit inside a ten-foot square. Oh, shit. Um... <clears throat> Making sure. Okay, so you kind of go into this hallway. And there's stuff still to your left and your right. Where, where We just heard the coughing coming from 
Upstairs? Downstairs. Oh, it was downstairs? Yeah, yeah, it was downstairs behind the two doors. Oh, I thought it was upstairs. No. Oh. You can go back downstairs if you want. Yeah, let's assume he I want to. I want to clear an area. Like, I want to clear the downstairs and then go upstairs. Like, that would be my uh, my uh, thought. Is that what we're agreeing on? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I thought the coughing was coming from upstairs, so that's yeah, the main I reason I wanted to go. Yeah, I think you implied that it was upstairs. Sorry. Uh, no, it's, the it's, shadow it's, it's went good. up, and the, it's back. Yeah, no. Oh, I, they, oh, it's behind the... It's behind the two doors. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, so where are we going? <clears throat> uh, towards the coughing. Okay. Um... So you're going to go past the doors, and that is number... Okay. Oh, shit, it's a thingy. Brown square. Okay. Uh, so we're so, in here now? Yep, as you go in... There is a 20-foot-long table with sculpted dragons for legs, and it stands in the center of a hall. Um, the chairs that surround the table have backs carved to resemble folded dragon's wings, and several of the chairs have been overturned or smashed to pieces. Suspended above the table is a crystal chandelier that glows with a soft white light. Standing in the windowed uh, alcoves are two life-side statues depicting knights with dragon winged helmets and shields. Rainwater trickles through the cracks in the ceiling, flowing down the west wall and adding to a large puddle on the floor. Five sets of wooden doors lead to this hall. The doors in the northeast corner hang open. A pair of uh, lated, leaded glass doors, their panes cracked and broken, stand open between panels of stained glass set into the east wall. These panels depict silver dragons in flight. Beyond the glass doors lays a dark, misty room that appears to be a chapel. This guy is super into dragons. This is the fallen house of the stone dragon, bro. Uh, and you hear the cough coming from the chapel. The chapel. Is there anything in this area that, that looks interesting? Important. Anything that... You can roll an inv investigation. Great. We just talked about how good we all had. Yeah. Four. Uh, 16. 18. No. <laughs> You don't really hear or see anything cool. Ah, shit. Getting those uh, good rolls in. Uh, I'll, I'll like, look at the table and try and see if, like, anything. I'll, like, inspect it, see if I, like, press anything, if it does anything weird. Is there anything on the table? No. I jump up on the table. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? This is my table. You're so weird. You're weird. You're Get weird. away from my table. I will kick the leg of the table. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a strength check. Oh, my strength's lower now. Boo. And uh, you can roll a deck save. See if you can jump off the table. Uh, doo -doo -doo. What'd you get? 18. 13. So you kind of able, like, half-heartedly, you kick it, and it kind of cracks and whines, and it's enough time where you can go, ho-ho, and kind of somersault off of it. I didn't want that table anymore, so... Your loss. You're the worst. Uh, so the chapel's back here, and we have doors yep, leading. You have doors to the left and the right. Uh, I'm going to go towards the chapel. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> Let's do it. So uh, you go into the chapel, and cracked wooden pillars support a wooden U-shaped balcony that overhangs the stone wall chapel. Narrow archways lead to spiral staircases that curl up to the balcony, and a door set into the north wall has a wooden beam bearing at it. Uh, at the east end of the chapel rests a stone altar flanked by two candelabras. The altar is carved with a rising sun bas relief. Tall, arching windows set with uh, panels of stained glass decorate the walls behind the altar. One of the windows has been shattered, covering the chapel floor with shards of colored glass and allowing thick fog to enter the room. Uh, you see that there's something on the altar, but because of the fog, it's a little hard to see. If you'd like to investigate or perceive it, you can roll for that at disadvantage. So the uh, I'm going to use perception. another divine sense. Uh, yes. Perception, or no, investigation, investigation, use divine sense. You said at disadvantage? Seven. Mm -hmm. One. And uh, you, I'm just going to tell you, you get a blip of undead still. It, it's still in around. It's not going to give you a direction. No, 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 but like it's within 60 feet, so I'm getting is it like closer, further? I don't, like it doesn't tell me, it's just 
undead stuff. Cool. Uh, what are we doing? Investigation at disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was a natural 20, and that's a 7. <laughs> Can't that really see it. setting. And Dirt's just kind of like in the doorway like, this place gives me the creeps. Uh, I'm going to go up to the table. And you hear it. <laughs> and as you go up, uh, you see a very pale, uh, grayish kind of tiefling uh, chained to this altar. And as he he looks at you, he goes and kind of just passes out. Uh, can I, like, two lay on hands him? Can I, like, touch his face and, like, You can, two? and it doesn't seem like he's hurt. Oh. So it doesn't really do anything. And that was a waste. So he's chained to... He's chained to the altar. Do we still have this covered, or are oh. we in there now? You're in there now. Sorry. <clears throat> do I um, see, like, any, uh, any, like, water around that I could throw on his face? Try to wake him up? Mm, there's no real water. I mean, there's the puddle of water that was in there. We have holy water. It, I don't, don't want to throw... Water. I don't want to throw water in his face. Does he have anything um, valuable on him? He said he passed out, so... You can check. Uh, if you'd like to roll an investigation. God, two. No, he just has pants and a shirt on. Neat. Um... He just passed out. Mm-hmm. Uh, shit. Roll, uh, everyone roll perception checks. Natural 20. 16. Natural 20. Uh, Rufio and Chart, you see that he is not breathing. Uh, shit. Uh, try and give him CPR and ask for dirt's help. Uh, roll medicine at advantage. Gross. You're gonna catch cooties. Mm. Okay. Twelve. The other one was a natural right. one. So you kind of pinch his mouth closed and you open his mouth and and you're pressing and it's dirt. I can't do this. Do it. I don't. I don't want to kiss a dead body. Well, he's not dead yet. Why We're are you kissing him? Huh? If you're gonna intimidate him or persuade him, I'm gonna persuade him. Okay. Oh, ten. I rolled a three, but my persuasion's so good. He got like a natural thirteen. He's like, no, I'm good. Not All right, doing it. Now I'm not doing intimidate it. him. Now I'm gonna intimidate him. Intimidate. Dirt. What? Do it now. No, I don't want to fucking kiss some guy. Oh, that's better. Nah, twenty-one. Modded twenty-one. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to do it. And he just kind of. <laughs> and as he does this, you hear. <coughs> good job, dirt. Proud of you. Roll perception again. Natural 20. Mm-hmm. 14. 15. Still not breathing. But he coughed. But he coughed. Mm-hmm. Wait, you told us that there was undead? Yeah. Hey, I think that's your blip. His name is Blip? <laughs> hey, Blip. Uh, I'm going to punch him in the face. Roll an attack. <laughs> Oh, natural one. You kind of go, ah, and you just kind of <laughs> slowly stroke his face. And it's at this point, you see a smirk. And the tiefling goes, I didn't know you cared. Apparently more than I thought I did. And they open their eyes, and you see this gray, green... And he goes, look at you morose motherfuckers here. <laughs> really? I'm gone for two weeks and already you're at each other's throats or super sad. <coughs> Gray? <laughs> I kick him. <clears throat> I deserve that. <sighs> Why are you tied here? Don't don't untie me. Why? Don't untie you? No. Why? How long have you guys been in here? We literally just walked in. Oh. I got sprayed by a dragon thing. What's that all about? I don't... Brain's kind of hazy. What? What's going... Why should we not untie you? What's just, going on? I'm just... <clears throat> and as he grunts, you see his eyes slowly turn red, and then they go back to the green. <sighs> just... Don't do it. <laughs> I like you guys. <sighs> and who... Who put you here? I, uh... Well, last thing I remember is ripped in half. 
And then uh, I woke up in the graveyard here and uh, everyone's a lot, a lot, not a lot nicer than I am, or they're less nice than I am. I can't speak words right. I can't, it are. Uh, sorry, it's, I've been here for a while. Did you break everything in here? What? No. I just kind of got knocked out and here I am. Who <laughs> knocked you out? Oh, <laughs> you guys haven't explored the, the place yet. The other revenants. What? Yeah. You guys don't know your history, huh? <laughs> no. I'm gonna... I'm gonna pass out now again. Alright, bye. <laughs> and his the back of his head just kind of clunk. Well, you both kissed Grey. So... I mean... One of you kissed Grey. <laughs> uh... Go ahead and roll uh, perception for me, Rufio. Yeah, Rufio. Fuck. Ten. That's the Rufio we know and love. Uh, there it is. On the altar... Yeah. Around the altar, you kind of see that yellow and orange blip, mm. and it looks vaguely familiar to the morning star, uh, the symbol of the morning star. Mm. Uh, dirt. Yes. That that thing on the altar. Hmm. No, it's on the floor. Or on the floor. In front of the altar. Yeah, on, in front of the altar. And it's huge. Great in the ground. Yeah. It, it that looks like. Yeah. You seeing it? What you the getting it? Yeah, yeah, no. This this looks this looks like the symbol I've been seeing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What put the your fuck? put the staff on the floor near the floor. See if it does a thing. Does it do a thing? It does not do a thing. Like stamp it on the ground. Do us do a do an action on it. Make it. And nothing. <laughs> I hate you. Clink clink. It's hey, not <clears throat> aren't you a religion guy? No. Fucking pray. But now, like. What, Gray? Yeah. Uh. Dear morning, Lord. Hi. Um, it's me, Fira. Uh, just wondering, are you here? Did you not teach him how to pray? I didn't think I needed to. And anything on? It did, did he even get any aura or anything? Nothing. No. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna try and get uh. Uh, gray up again. Okay, what are you gonna try to do to get him up? I'm gonna slap him. Go ahead and roll an attack. Start doing hit. The natural right. 18. You can roll an unarmed attack, which is a d4, plus your strength. Uh, five. He just goes. I don't want to go to school. <laughs> what? Gray, get up. Why why can't we untie you? Well, he's not going to be helpful. So, let's go find the other revenants. Shouldn't we untie Gray? Uh, he literally said do not untie him. Yeah, but he would help us. <clears throat> Here's the thing. I've never seen his eyes change colors before. They did this time. Right now I say trust him. He's not going anywhere. Uh, obviously. So we can go explore, come back. All right. Where are we going? Let's go up on the right side. Which side? Uh, right side. If you're facing. So you south want to go side, south side. Oh, here? No, no, no. Uh, up the stairs. Oh, you want to go? Up oh, you want it to? No, clear I want to clear. Right? I want to clear the downstairs. So we'll go on to that side. This yeah. side. Okay, we'll so we are out. going to one of the doors. That is number four. Wonderful. Okay. Um, dude, yeah, I don't know. It's. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, as you go in, rubble is strewn throughout much of this vast chamber, caused by the partial collapse of the rooms above it. On the pink marble floor, fallen chandeliers lie amid broken chairs and other furnishings. Thick webs stretch from wall to wall, and moving among them are too many giant spiders to count. However, in the middle of the room is a very tiny treasure chest. Shit. Dude, I want it. 
It could be awesome. I'm getting it. <laughs> Would you like this is why I didn't want to explore. <laughs> it's called addiction, Rufio. <laughs> I know, Respect and I love it. it. Uh, can I... Hold on, let me see my Fucking spells. Let me see if spiders. I have anything that can help him. Uh, so, I wait, will... real quick. Let me move to how, that page. How high can we count? Um... <laughs> Because none of us went to school. Everyone roll for intelligence, and I'll give it to you. Okay, oh, because it's shit. higher than we can count. We can only count to five. I'm not that scared. Fifteen. Plus. Oh, wait. Intelligence. Hold on. Plus minus one. <laughs> Where's intelligence? Oh, What'd yeah. Fifteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Nice. Five. <laughs> Dummy. There's like a million, Rufio. Uh, <laughs> as you look. Dude, there's a million in here. This is crazy. You count Nine. Nine giant fucking spiders. They're about the size uh, of you. Uh, uh. No, uh, so not uh, that big. Uh. <laughs> I mean, for spiders, <laughs> this is fucking Australia right now. Oh, uh, jeez. All right. I mean, I fucking hate spiders, so I'll kill some damn spiders. <laughs> uh, well, you might have to get ready to. Uh, so I will... Can I hold an action? Sure. What's the action? Uh, it would be a bless cast. Mm-hmm. Uh, da, da, da. If you hold it, how long does it take to cast? It's a... Because with that, it's kind of like when you hold action, it kind of fizzles out at the end of it's your just a, It's only a minute duration. It, he's just getting sprinkled by holy water. So it's literally just... Okay, if you yeah. can chuck it that far. That's, let's I say will... like he's in the middle of the room. I'll make you roll a like a strength check to see if you can make it... To I hurl a, a vial of holy water at him. Yeah, you're like, bless! <laughs> <laughs> I, have, um, I have 50 feet of rope. Yeah. Do you want to just tie it around me and, and hold on to it? You should hold on to it. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. So I fasten it around my waist. Okay. And I hand it to Shart. What are you going to roll? 30 feet's not going to do a lot, is it? 50 feet. 50 feet. Oh, 50 feet. Because yeah. they're 10 feet, so you can move five spaces before where, being well, yanked away. Yeah, where? You said to the center? Well, before Shart needs to move forward uh, with you. Two, three, four. I'm just trying to gauge. I would say it's like here because I'm a dick. Let's just make a little mark. Yeah. Well, now that it's set in stone. <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40. That's cool. So I think I'm okay. Yeah? Oh, oh they're so fuck. close. Yeah, they're really close. They're so big. There's also six more. Uh, I just oh, don't have enough God. pieces. And they're they're all on the ceiling? They're on the walls, the ceiling. Some of them are in, like, the corners. So oh, okay. Fucking stealth, bro. Stealth like you've never stealthed stealth before. Stealth like you've never stealthed before. <sighs> all right. I do a bunch of things to like stretch out. I start cracking my neck, and I do uh, sure. I do some, some nice yoga, easy calisthenics. <clears throat> Get my lumbar all uh, stretched S- out, supported. my thoracic spine. Can you uh, move my <laughs> okay guy over to the area? Works. Over here. Yeah, so that way I'm with you. Okay. Okay. So how's the stealthing work? You're just rolling like, stealth. Just for just to get there. Yeah. See if they notice you. Alrighty. Notice me. <laughs> no, don't notice. Don't notice don't me. Don't notice me. Okay. They rolled pretty high. 14. Uh, bless. <laughs> oh, no. It's attack and saving throws. Never mind. It's not a saving throw. It's okay. just a straight roll. As Fuck. you get to about here, because <laughs> there is one there, uh, you hear a go. It's a dream. <laughs> Roll initiative. All of us or just him? Just him, unless you're in the room with him. I am. Shard is. Okay, Shard. Uh, 21. Eight. Okay, 21 and eight. Dirt and I are like right outside the door, though. Okay. So if you'd like to roll initiative. Yeah. So you got 21, you got eight. Uh, I also have eight. <laughs> okay. And then eight I brothers. roll for dirt. God damn it. What dirt roll? No, it's oh. not dirt. It's the spiders. Um, <laughs> you let me down a little bit here, Di. You need to take a, just a breather. Yeah, I'm using the one that you got breather. me, so I'm blaming you for everything. Okay, right Shark, you're up first, bud. What? No, no. isn't 21? Oh, you got 21. Yeah. Oh, I thought yeah. you got eight. Sorry. Uh, so, Ab City, you were up first. Am I, like, right next to, like, attacking range? Uh, yeah. It's the only one I didn't draw. Oh, wait. Maybe I did make one. We probably uh, should have so thought this through. Game plan? Uh, do we 
Well, shark can pull me back. He can, but I want the chest. Oh, I know, but the the benefit would be that I would then be behind uh, shark. Yeah. Well, no, he can't because he doesn't have his action right now. We're gonna. Oh, that's we're right. We're gonna borrow uh, one of these. Um, I just kind of have a block. Here. Borrow one of what? One of my other maps. Okay. One of his other maps. We are borrowing. Didn't think like, oh, I should make this a battle map. <laughs> Is this the 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 new room? Yeah. Okay. Let's just say you're in here. So Coming from this side. Uh, do you want to use the other? pieces that we have for for individual spiders so we know where they're all at. Yeah, I have a shit ton. Um, we're gonna use zombies. Here, let's, uh, while we're doing this, I'm just gonna rotate it so oh, that hopefully so the camera can pick it up. Camera. Yeah, yeah. I, kn I know it's kinda hard for Justin to... Okay. Just move it like that. Yeah. Fuck. So many legs. <laughs> okay, great. Nine um, spiders. Nine. And where's the where's the chest in this room? Got it. And you guys are just behind me. Yeah. So yeah, I have right I have two you. ideas. Um, you distract all the spiders and I get the thing, <laughs> or we burn this room to the fucking ground. Hold on one sec. While you guys are talking, I'm gonna see if I can just cover up all of them. Okay. Yeah. So see, he can't. No, no, they can't hear this. So let's keep talking. Yeah. What do you guys think? Because burning, we could just burn this to the fucking ground. It's a stone building, isn't it? There's webs everywhere. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, it's stone room. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm for it. All right. I'm for it. Can wait. So Eldridge, Eldridge blast is fire but or it's, it's on magic? my turn i know but i'm trying so, to uh, it's not fire it's not fire so if you have any torches or we have we all have tinder boxes josh has a candle i do you guys all have candles too <clears throat> i suggested making a torch earlier you called me an idiot so i don't know what to do absidy it's your turn okay um so amongst the walls and around here is uh is all webbed webs. yeah okay Oh, will that maybe call a bigger spider? Is there a big... Th these oh, there was that big thing. There was a big thing. Yeah. Mm. That had wings? Fuck oh, it. maybe it's not a spider. But still, like, where all of these spiders come from, maybe a bigger spider. Yeah, okay. Why don't we just fucking kill him? Okay, oh. we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there. All right. Well, then I... I'll just attack, because I'm... Wait, no, I still have that space, or I'm right next to him? We're about here. Okay. Then I will. Why don't you just get the treasure and we all book it and slam this door shut? Because I'm not going to be able to make that without dis without getting in the center of everything. Because mm. each one of these is is how is it back to six feet? Uh, yeah, they're the the normal size. So these spaces are regular size. Quarters. If if I get here, mm -hmm. do I have? Am I then? Yeah, fuck it. Let's do that. Cause I can make that. Yeah, you make it. Yeah. Just and remember then that you're action. tied. Huh? Okay, just make sure you remember your time. I'm far enough. enough. Okay. Right, because it's 6, 12, or no, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, yeah. you got it. Okay, so I will, I'll run. <laughs> I'm going to run here to get this. Okay, and it's a very tiny box. And I pick it up. Okay. Shark, pull me back. Is it my turn? Can I? Could that be my action to tell him to do something and he do it? Uses, it could be his reaction. Shark uses his reaction to... If not, I'm just going to run back. It? <laughs> it's probably run back. Okay. So I, I pick it up and can, I run can back. Can you use like a dash as an action? Do you, are you using, do you have like a disengage bonus action you can use? Because they will have uh, opportunities to attack you. All? Which ones? Those two. That's what I was asking before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... So you use yeah, I do. to get here. You use so this action disengage. I use my my cunning action disengage. Okay. So I I moved one, two, three, four. I still have five feet. Five. And then and then dash one, two, three, four, five. And then slam that fucking door shut. As you do, you see two webs from these go, and you just narrowly miss. As you are back with chart, and you have this little box in your hand. I narrowly miss what? 
the webs hitting you. Oh, okay. I'm just doing dynamic storytelling. Okay. It's a weird thing. Spider-Man. One of them's like, Uncle Ben? <laughs> slam the door shut. Slam the door shut. Slam the door shut. It's, yeah, I can't take a step out. I'm out of movement. So, Dirt's turn. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, what the fuck? All right. Well, What's I in got the box? It. What's in the box? What's in the box? Hey, uh, Shark, can you barricade that door? And uh, there yes. is your treasure box, <laughs> and I need it back. Yay. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. I shuffled them up. <gasps> Bag of holding. Uh, oh, you guys got that immediately. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, because I'm carrying three times my weight. <laughs> so as you open it, you see this very tiny, kind of like it looks like a Merce. <laughs> and it's... uh. It's this tiny handbag. You guys can roll Arcana to see if it's magic. It's called a shoulder bag. Uh, it's in right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a satchel. Um, uh, what Rufio is it? Rufio at advantage. Uh, Arcana? Arcana. Natural yeah, 20. Uh, chart? Um, Arcana? Yeah. Eight. <laughs> Your father had one of these. That's a bag of holding. Oh, this is fucking awesome. Guys, watch this. And I'll, I'll, uh, I'll grab... The sword, but it's sheathed, yeah. and I'll just go. Whoop. And you see, like Mary Poppins. Whoop. Where to? What? It's a. It, this is a bag of holding. My my father had one of these. You can put an unlimited amount of things in this bag. What? And as you put your hand in, you yep. see Rufio pull out his sword. And re reattach it to my. Okay, do another one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh I'll like. Don't put. You know not to. Put yeah. Anything don't put. Living. Don't put anything. <laughs> that shorts like. Yes. <laughs> no, don't put anything living in this it. bag. Like a lion. It'll head. it'll die. It'll die. If we put anything that's alive in this bag, it will die. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's go get gray. Okay. <laughs> Dirt, get in this bag. Uh, what are we doing next, boys? Do, wait. Do, so, do we know, or would he know, if you put something undead in it, does it die, or does it like perma death? Mm, I think it collapses on itself. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's another dimension. Like, that's what a bag of holding is. I mean, you could potentially, but it's not that wide where you can fit a whole person in. It's yeah. like, a hand, it's a merce. So you could put, like, I think the widest you could probably go would be, like, My the... Axe. Not your axe. Your axe is too big. Uh, it would be something more like the uh, Bastard Sword or the Monger's Claymore. Mm -hmm. So the handles are big enough that you could at least put that in. So it's, like, this big. Oh, okay. This wide. So, so you like, couldn't like put someone in there. You could put like a dead undead mouse. You could put a baby in there. Okay. <laughs> Dark, but yeah, you could totally put a baby in there. Roll a baby, for baby died in here. <laughs> a baby died in this bag. A baby died here. Uh, I need a shrinking potion. <laughs> why? What are you gonna do? Put Strahd in it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's called creativity. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna now minus two intelligence. Now <laughs> take it off your permanent. We're gonna go on, uh, to this side. Okay. So which part are you going to? Because you have three doors. Uh, shit. Uh, I'm gonna... Ba -da -ba -da. Ba -da -ba -da. On a four, you re-roll. Four re-roll? Yep. I was gonna say do a d4. 18. Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> For right. what? For, For which door? Doors. Oh, to pick which a door? door. Which door? Which door? It was a four, obviously. Yeah. Uh, that is a two. So, middle door. Middle door. Okay. Middle you door. Your mouth middle you door. Down. You traveled down. Okay. In an earlier round. As you go in. <laughs> uh, those aren't words, Patrick. We're going down, down. Those <laughs> <laughs> words, Patrick! Don't tell me what are words. I know what words are. <laughs> I meant stump. Uh, so this is this is all the size of the room? Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's a 60 foot room. That's pretty size. Uh, I guess that is pretty big. <laughs> yeah. it's, a big it's a big ass As room. You go I'm just in. making sure it's not like the other side where it's it's huge. Five barrels lie in wooden braces along the walls of this dark, moldy storage room. Eldritch Blast, mold. one of them. And it's Shark. just it looks like mold in old wine. Eldritch Blast, all of them. Well, I was going to tell Shark to kick them. There's nothing in them. Just more moldy wine. Yeah, it's uh, moldy wine is not even good wine. Gross. Meow. You guys don't drink the wine. Nothing else in there? I mean, you can roll investigation to see. Uh, great, because we all have such good investigation. 14. 10. 11. Wait, so is my investig- do I always get plus my proficiency? I would Or is that only you. for- Give it to you. Okay, then 17. Uh, as you all are looking, Absidy, you see 
uh, a door, secret door, at the far end uh, of the secret door. This square. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> you son of a bitch! It's just it's to your right. It's to the it's a door to your right. Okay. So instead of going out and going around number one, you have a secret door you can go through. If you see you that want. door, guys? No. Show me. Right there. Oh, door. Got it. Yeah. Yep. Is We're going like to go a, through the door. Is it like a regular door or a little person door? It's a regular person door. <laughs> cool. We can go in. Lead the way. I will lead the way through the door. Okay. Uh, so you go into a den. Ooh. Ooh. Only rich dads have that. <laughs> is this sadie? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Of course we will. As you go in, this wood panel den has been ransacked. Its uh, furnishings tossed about. A cold, dark hearth dominates the west wall between two narrow windows. Standing upright against the north wall is a sarcophagus made of black wood with the queen's effigy carved into its lid. And it's closed. Uh, divine sense? Sure. Last time we saw... Uh coffin standing up like this we got into a fight so we should probably open it uh anything no no let's oh, fucking open it okay uh as you go Check in the traps <laughs> <laughs> too late as you open it uh it looks like it's a old wine kind of cabinet there are broken glasses of wine uh wine glasses wine bottles and there is this. Ooh. What is the symbol look like? Which symbol? on the on the door? The sarcophagus? It's it's nothing that you can really gauge. Oh it's nothing Oh it's okay, gotcha. It's nothing super crazy. Oh that's cool. What is it? Uh, I don't want to no I'm just kidding. Uh it is a helmet of compre uh, Comprehend Languages. While wearing this helm, you can use an action to cast the Comprehend Languages spell at will. I'm going to hold on to that. Cool. You just kind of pull up a helmet, and you're like, I don't know what this I is. Don't, I'm just going to put it on my head. I need to get you guys to start rolling Arcana checks, but I like giving you treats. <laughs> I'm going to... Yeah. I'm gonna just, just put wearing it on my a head. helmet uh, you're wearing affect it? your AC yeah. at all? Don't you have a helmet? Depends no. on the oh. thing. Okay, so wouldn't help me? No. Okay. <laughs> um... I'll buy a helmet. As you guys are talking, a fire erupts in the dead hearth and assumes a draconic form. And uh, it hisses, crackles, and unfurls its smoky wings. Roll initiative. Oh, shit. Fucking A. And then we're just going to reuse the same thing. All right, cool. 12. 10. Okay, let's just put this here for the esophagus. Sarcophagus. Sarcophagus. (laughs) Esophagus. It's Uh, a throat. Ah. We'll put that there oh, for a thing placement. Right there, man. And where are you guys at? It looks like Han Solo. I, I mean, five. I'm wherever the nice. thingy was. So you're at the sarcophagus. Where are you guys at? Uh, I was going to be like around him. Dirk's probably back here. That makes Dirk's sense. probably in the back. Yeah, and I was kind of just looking around, so. Okay, what did you guys roll? 14. 10. 12. Okay, and Dirt rolled that. Yeah, he did. Let's pull up Dirt. Uh, before we do like battley things, mm-hmm. can I try and talk to it? On your turn. Fuck. Because um, we know what the helmet is, right? No, we don't know what the helmet is. Oh, okay. But you put it on already. But I can speak draconic. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. What did you guys roll again? Fourteen. Shards first. Uh, I'm twelve. Ten. At, and then Absidy is ten. Yeah, he is. Ha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shoddy, you a ten. Thanks, dog. Um. Okay. Uh, dirt is up first. Let's see what dirt can do. Those are all things that are fire based. <laughs> mm-hmm. Dope. Cool. And he's, he's got lightning, magic missile. He does have his morning star as well. Ooh. And. It's not a morning star. Remember. He's got to make a wisdom save. Oh fuck. Oh, I love you, Dirt. So he kind of goes, and you see him unsheath this uh, monk blade. And he kind of goes, maybe we should just hear it out? I agree. I agree. Shart, you are up. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, fuck. Uh, 
Why am I making a wisdom saving throw? Your axe. No, I'm not. Not yet. What do you mean? When I'm attacked. Oh, that's when I make attack. It. Okay. When I take damage. Then what are you doing? Is it me? <clears throat> no, it's Shark. It's Shark. What are you doing? Are you fighting it? <clears throat> I don't know, guys. I kind of want to swing my new thing. What would Shark do? I think... I think Dirt makes a good point. I think we should hear him out. Guys, I speak Draconic. I'm just saying. Hey, guy. Thing. You want to get hit with this? Oh, boy. My knights have fallen into darkness. Save them if you can. Show them the light they have lost. And it burns out. See, I have a way with words. <laughs> hey, you didn't, you. Get, you didn't get any of that. What up, girl? <laughs> it says it in common. You all. Oh, did it. it say it in common? Yeah. Okay. His knights. His knights. The revenants. Maybe. <laughs> Does that? <gasps> I already saw it. Table. Ah, it's a table. It's a table. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's me. who were his knights? I don't know. We didn't can we can get. we search the room for anything that would indicate what the knights are? I mean, there was the big knight statue when we walked in. There was two. Oh yeah. There was two knights. And they were draggy boys. Got to be starting something. Don't Not know if to be right. starting something. <laughs> Dragon boys. <laughs> Oi. Uh, can we look for anything in like can I go to the hearth and see if I can like you just see smoldering embers that slowly snuff out. I'll, I'll just like real quick. You can quick. all roll uh, intelligence checks. Great. Straight intelligence. I'll give it to you. <laughs> Two. Five. Twenty. Still smarter Natural than you. Natural twenty? Yeah. Use dirty dog. Uh, the shape of the dragon looks like a lot of the things that you've seen of dragons. So the dragon that's outside, it has this weird fin. The ones that you saw of the silver dragons in the chapel, same shape. You can assume with your deductive reasoning, that it is possible that it's a silver dragon. What do you guys know about dragons? Fire and they love gold. What do you know about metallic dragons? They love metal? I don't think I know anyway, anything. Anyway, what are we doing? I would know stuff, wouldn't I? You possibly, but I will let you, Rufio, roll a intelligence track at advantage because you... Of your relationship with Saloon. That was another two. And because of Duke. And that is a kinked. Five. When you were a kid and Duke told you about his travels through uh, trying to prevent Tiamat from rising. Yeah. They were just so boring. <laughs> Every time he talked, he'd be like, well, that was this one time when we were fighting the weight dragon. And then I want, 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 want. And you're like, and just... At, you used to just look at Saloon and she'd be like <laughs> can't really remember anything <laughs> fuck I really should have paid attention and that's to everything uncle. you need to know about eight dragons now red dragons <laughs> I should have paid attention when my uncle Duke talked and you guys are like who? Duke yeah that story for another time alright let's uh I'll, I'll throw like a real quick like are you still there at the embers in Draconic and see if anything happens? You say it and nothing. All right, let's get out of here. All right, where are we going next? The other uh, set of doors. Other room? Okay, yeah. that is... Okay. So, as you go through... I'll also be, like, goading at Absidy a little bit. I'll just As we're, like, walking, I'll be like, you didn't even want to get the bag of holding, but here we are. You're welcome for that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So, as you go in, you are in the kitchen. The kitchen has been plundered. Its tables overturned. Uh, the floor is littered with rusted utensils and smashed crockery. Narrow windows flanking a hearth look out over a cemetery. Uh, an open iron pot hangs from a hook inside the blackened fireplace. It rattles on its hook and bobs up and down as though something is inside of it. Is there any food? You can roll investigation, see. There's dude, we just saw moldy wine. Man's gotta eat. Fourteen. Nothing really appetizing <sighs> here. Damn, alright. Any lower, I would have made you eat a rotten apple. <laughs> That's 
Uh, where's the Where's the thing that's? It's in the pot, and it's by the hearth. And you can, just uh, see. can I check it? Sure. If you want to check it, as sharp as you get closer to it, a bat pops out, screeches, and <laughs> flies past. Fuck. But as you look outside, you see this cemetery. Spooky. Could that be what the the dragon was talking about? He said his knights were fallen, right? Show them the light. <clears throat> yeah. Should we check out the knight's statues? Why not both? Someone was clearly looking for something here. We don't know who, but they what were is, looking for something. What is this area? You can the, get close. Is this the is this where is this the same room? It's uh it's a little bit past the doors. There's uh actually there is no door in this room to it. It looks like there's only one and it was in the hearth. In the center room? In the second no, in the the, first room. Yeah. This where the hearth was where yeah. you fought the dragon. Where we found the dragon. Okay. Correct. Uh, so there's really nothing else. Can I do like a perception check around here and see if there's anything of note? Anything? I mean, you can go for it if you want. Five. Um, nothing time, really here, man. T- time to change dice. Great. I did. <laughs> I just changed dice. But if you'd, like to, string. if you'd like to move on to that, yeah, you would have to go through that room. Yeah. Back to would we have seen the door before we... Yeah, I would okay. say you've seen well, it. So you can deduce... Yeah, um, let's go back and check that other... See what that other door leads Wonderful. to before we go into the graveyard. Beautiful. So you're about here. Oh, God, I fell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fucking clumsy bastard. So it's a bastard. Stair- a staircase cake. and a parlor. So, uh, tattered velvet drapes cover this tall, slender windows that encircle this parlor. The furnishings are covered with dust and cobwebs and lie in disarray. A damaged brass chandelier hangs from the ceiling, which is covered with a faded mural that depicts a metallic dragon and colorful birds flying beneath the white clouds. Does the dragon look like the one we just saw? It looks like the dragon you saw. Is this? Uh, is there any like books or anything in the library? You, is, can roll, parlor you area? guys can roll investigation if you like. Great. It's so good at that. 17. 6. 20. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing in You're there. You're a dick. <laughs> There's just a lot of um, just neglected things, like furnishings have been neglected, and it looks like no one's been in this room in ages. Uh, and those are stairs going up. And then I'll just, for good measure, you see another set of stairs. You see a wooden door back here. And yeah. I'll say there. I didn't get to see it. There's another door here that leads you into that one. Are those stairs up also? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. There's a door here. So yeah, to those go both go up here. Mm-hmm. Want to go check the other one, or do we need to go up, or what do we want to do? Oh, yeah, they go up. Sorry. I think that's all that's left on the first floor, so yeah. we might as well. I mean, we might as well check. Yeah, the one last yeah. area we haven't other, seen. And... I'm so stupid. Sorry. They go down, but they go down to this little hallway. Mm. So it just kind of dips. Let's like go half check the floor. Yeah, just me. Let's let's go clear that other area first before we go down. All right, making our way downtown. Uh, you go to the other blip, and there is a uh, tattered brown drapes cover the windows of this circular room, and a heavy curtain hangs across the archway to the south. Strewn above the floor is a wreckage of half a dozen beds and other tiny pieces of furniture. Again, anything of note in the building? Investigation. In the room. Better. Uh, 16. 15. 12. There is nothing. Great. Uh, Just a a bunch of... Nicer that time. How how (laughs) many broken beds? Uh, I would say there's about 15. Okay. But are they... They're all small? They're like... No, they're normal size. It's just kind of the range. So this is where the knights slept. Maybe. Or servants. By the kitchen, could be servants. That's how it was in a uh, what's her face's bitch, ha- bitch house. Yeah, bitch house. <laughs> bitch house. Yeah. Cannon. Death house. Bitch house. Oh, I thought you meant Watcher's house. It was. I Watcher's house. That's what I yeah. meant. Yeah. I knew. <laughs> I knew what he meant. You guys are so. Uh, do we see these? Yeah, you see him going down. Like right, when it... you went across, you like went down. You saw the 
to the left, and you so they they go to the same yeah. area. Yeah. It's okay. like seventies architecture. Yeah, it just randomly <laughs> goes down, levels. and it's a it's an iron gate. We're going basically. down now. <laughs> basically, down there is just an iron gate. Those uh, circles are an iron gate. Got it. So these both staircases lead to the same okay. area. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, we're gonna go down the stairs. Okay. Uh, as you go, it is an iron gate. It's chained shut, and it closes off a ten foot tall archway. I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna use my new weapon. Okay, go ahead and make a make a strength DC. Strength check. Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. You kind of bust it open, and it just kind of looks like it's a back trail that kind of goes off into the mountain. It just looks like it's another entrance. This doesn't seem like anything. This is just a way out, and it's not a way to the highest point. Well, we cleared the we cleared the floor. We, hey, Gray, you awake? He's there's no way he hears us. It's an old house. It could echo. Uh, if you go out, you can make your way possibly to the cemetery, or you got to go back in, and it looks like it's through the chapel to the side where that to the cemetery. This bad boy is. So we can just go through the cemetery? Nope. So or you'd have to go come through, in, go around. Or go through the go church through. chapel? Yep. Yeah, let's do that. And then one of us can see if Gray's awake. Okay. Yeah. So as you sneak back in, it's more like more hissing. Uh, and as you get and there. we all hear that? Yeah. And as you get there, Gray is still knocked out. Yeah, he's knocked out. Oh, well, I mean, I guess that means. Gotta go check upstairs. So, as you go, are you in the cemetery? We want to go to the cemetery. In the chapel. Yeah, we're in the chapel. Okay. As you get to the cemetery, tucked behind the mansion is a fog-shrouded cemetery, enclosed by a seven-foot-tall fence of wrought iron. In the northeast corner stands a mausoleum. Uh, Let's see here. And as you go, you suddenly feel like someone or something is watching you. Looking up, you spot a well-dressed man with a thick mane of thistled, uh, down here, observing you from a high tower window. He draws the curtain and disappears from view. Where is that? In the mausoleum? Up here. Oh. Uh, up above here. Mm-hmm. Mm. But he didn't even look. Here? No. I, I mean, here? roughly. It's but like, roughly but... like in the building. It's oh, okay. So but okay. so we're, we're in here, he's in... You're in the... You're in the, we're in here. the light green. No, we're here. Like around here. Yeah, we're in that. Uh, if you like, you guys can inspect closer... Yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, everyone go ahead and make uh, perception checks. Son of a bitch. Nine. Twenty. Eight. Modded. Modded twenty. Uh, as you look, Absidy, you see that uh, none of the graves are full. It looks like they're all empty. And you mm-hmm. can assume or deduce that whatever bodies were here rose up. How many? I would say there's about ten. Ten. Mm-hmm. Hey, you see how all these graves are empty? Yeah. I don't think graves are supposed to be empty. And as you look, you see like different like claw, like as if someone crawled out of so them. So these are the these are the soldiers. S- soldiers fallen revenants. Well, they're probably revenants now. Maybe is that how it works? Do we know soldiers fallen? I don't know. It would only make sense that these I'm, would be... Yeah, based on what the dragon said, that we need to show them the light, and the fact that Grace said there are other revenants in the house. Bad stuff's here. Yeah. Uh, so we go upstairs. Shark, get ready to you use that axe. You want to go upstairs, or you want to go in there? Uh, I want to go in the mausoleum. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you go into the so mausoleum. Off, boy. Uh, tarnished, silver-plated gargoyles shaped like dragon wormlings cling to a stone-tiled roof of this mausoleum. An eight-foot-tall, four-foot-wide white marble door set into the southwest wall is engraved with the name Argenvalst. Hmm. And let's see here. And it's marble. Mm-hmm. Uh, the interior of the mausoleum is dark and dusty. You see four empty alcoves with raised floors. Etched into the far wall is a verse written in Draconic. Ooh, what's it say? What's it say? What's it say? You ready? No. You want to write it down? Yeah. Okay. 
Here lie the bones and treasures of Argenvost, Lord of Argenvost Holt, and founder of the Order of the Silver Dragons. Lord of what? Lord of Argenvost Holt. So you can Argenvost and then Holt at the end. I wrote it here. Ooh, yeah. Huh. Oh, wow. Um, this sounds like German. Order. And founder of the Order of the Silver Dragon. Would I know the Order of the Silver Dragon? No. Cool. Um, Anything? Hmm. You can roll investigation, um, everybody. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna let them know. Okay. Be like, this is what it says. That's a weird language. You speak that shit? I do. Eleven. <laughs> Modded one. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Time to go to the old dirt well. <laughs> you kind of see a uh, tomb, like a sarcophagus, coffin, pretty big. Other than that, there's nothing really in here. I mean, it says treasures. It's got to be something, right? Let's open the sarcophagus. Okay. Who's opening it? I check for traps. You can check for traps. I'll open it. I'm going to be looking at the the wall. Okay. Uh, 16. Okay. 16 and... I'm opening. I don't have to roll. You You don't see any traps? Roll a strength check for me. Seems safe. Natural 20. You just fucking, you're able to lift it off and it's heavy. It takes you actually a minute to get it off. And inside you see the bones of, it looks like a dragon that have slowly kind of like started to deteriorate. You see the wings, you see the claws, the chest cavity, the tail. Everything is kind of neatly placed. The only thing you're not seeing is the head. You don't see the skull. Oh, that's weird. That's wild. There's no skull. Looks like someone came here and just took the skull. It couldn't have been anybody, though. That thing was heavier than it looked. Hmm. I'm just happy. I mean, someone's someone's been raiding this place. I think whoever came here and did all this damage took his head. Uh, can I take the butt end of my scythe mm-hmm. and smash it against that wall? Which wall? The the mar the is it marble? Is it the one with stone? the markings on it? Yeah. Sure. Go ahead and roll a uh, strength check for me. That's kinked. Okay, that's a five. <laughs> king, king. Nothing. What are you doing? I, there's, there's something in here. I can feel it. You want me to try, big guy? Yeah, give it a shot. Go ahead and roll a strength check. Twenty-two. So, shark kind of reels back, and kush, you see around. His hand, this giant, like, and you see cracks going up the wall, and you pull your hand back, and you wait, and nothing happens. There's something in here. Um, I'm gonna look around the the sarcophagus, the, the okay. tomb, and Go just ahead. see if there's anything. In the vicinity, anything, uh, footprints, eh, something. Sure. Go ahead, roll investigation for me. Uh, 15. Don't really see anything. All right, Rufio, there's nothing here. I guess we could come back and check more later, but there's shit upstairs. There's a guy that we saw looking at us up there. I think we got to go upstairs. Maybe that's who raided everything. Either way, we're just sitting around here. Yeah, you're right. Maybe he's got the dragon head. I'm going to linger for a couple minutes after them, and I'll catch up, but I'm going to... As you all start moving back to the foyer and back to the chapel, uh, we'll end it there, and we'll move on to the next floor in the second episode. Fuck. Dope. Sick. All right, guys. Well, thanks for checking out episode 30. Episode 30. We made it. We made it 30 episodes. God is real, (laughs) y'all. So real. Got the power of God and anime Uh, (laughs) on my side. Well, uh, yeah. Thanks for for watching. Thanks for checking everything out. And Josh is going to talk about stuff now. Like, comment, subscribe. Talk to us. Um, That's what I got.
please be my friend. We need another, I believe, 62 to get uh, the actual name on the YouTube channel. Yeah. So if you want to be one of those 62 subscribers, please do and thank you. And otherwise, we will see you on another one. It's actually 61. We're at 39 oh, We're at 39 now? Yeah. Huh. So it, be Mom. our 40th subscriber or whatever comes after that. 41. I just meant like if maybe it's like at 47 or whatever. I told like. you I'd make it, Mom. Uh. <laughs> Did you just jerk it at your mom? No, I just... Uh. Hi, oh, okay. Sharon. Bye. See ya. Love you, love you, Sharon. Love you, Sharon. Sharon Spills. <laughs>